Let's talk about harmonic rhythm. Hey, I'm Isaac Shano Johnson. If you don't know me, I'm a musician, composer, producer, and I make videos about all that fun stuff. Music, music composition, music production. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to see videos like this in the future. So harmonic rhythm, writing some music recently, and I've been playing around with harmonic rhythm to create a sense of urgency. So I want to make a video to talk about what harmonic rhythm is and how it can be super, super useful as a way to write music and a sort of tool to use in your music composition process. So what is harmonic rhythm? Harmonic rhythm is how quickly the chords are changing or the rhythm of the chord changes. So it could be either one of those things. So it could mean that you have chords that last for a long time or for a very short period of time, or it could be that there is a rhythm to when the chords change. So that creates its own rhythm within the song. But it's something that a lot of different sort of composers and musicians use to create a specific feel in a piece of music. Let's take a look at an example. So a common harmonic rhythm is one measure. So every chord lasts for a measure. So let's take a listen to an example of what that might sound like, right? I'm going to put some type of click or percussion in there so that you can hear the tempo because I want to make it clear that harmonic rhythm is sort of how fast the chords change, but separate from tempo. Tempo is the speed of the beats, right? The beats per minute that you'll hear, but harmonic rhythm can be one measure regardless of whether it's, you know, 200 BPM or 150, 100, 160, whatever BPM. You could also have chords that last for longer than a measure. So you could have chords that last for two measures or four measures, right? And depending on some, you know, songs, they have a varied harmonic rhythm where not the exact same harmonic rhythm is used throughout the entire song, right? For example, a 12 bar blues, which is a fairly common form of music, has a different harmonic rhythm depending on where in the form of the blues you are. Another common harmonic rhythm is chords that last for two beats each in 4-4, four, four, so half a measure each. This is really common in pop music as well as sort of a measure-long harmonic rhythm, but again, keeps the chords changing fairly, fairly constantly. And let's take a listen to what that sounds like, but with the same chords we used in the first example and with the same whatever rhythm or percussion stuff I have going on so that you can hear how it sort of changes the feel of the song, but not necessarily the speed or the tempo. You could also have a beat long harmonic rhythm, which is pretty quick and it, I, I, you don't hear it super often, but you might hear it at sort of pieces that want to create some real, like some kind of tension, uh, but it's a different kind of tension than, you know, adding notes that are dissonant or rhythms that clash or whatever. It's a different way to create sort of a like urgency, I guess, a feeling of urgency within a piece of music. You often hear it in classical music near the end of a movement in a symphony sometimes where you'll have, you know, one five, one five, especially in music from the sort of classical era of music, right? So music by Beethoven, Mozart, Joseph Bologna, Chevalier de St. George, uh, musicians in that sort of era of music, you'll hear this practice where you have one to five, right? the one chord and the five chord, C major to G major, if you're in the key of C as an example, switching between them really, really quickly, and then a long one chord at the end. So you have this really fast sort of harmonic rhythm, and then everything just stops. And then it resolves to the one chord, and you hold they hold that out often so that you can hear that resolution, and it sounds very, very resolved and finished. How can this be used to sort of write a piece of music? Well, one way you can use this is by 
choosing your harmonic rhythm in order to sort of create a specific feeling, right? If you want to create sort of a very laid back sound, you could choose a tempo that's a little laid back and a harmonic rhythm that's quite extended, right? Two measures or four measures or something like that. You could have a harmonic rhythm that's also very very extended so that'll create a more relaxed feel where it'll feel like the chords are changing slowly because they are changing slowly or you could do the opposite if you want to create a sense of urgency or a piece that's sort of like really really moving forward quickly you could choose a slightly more up tempo and then also a harmonic rhythm that's a little faster it says a note if you do use this play around with it to see what you can do um, because some harmonic rhythms can be used in like sound good in some contexts and you know for other things they don't sound good right depending on what you're trying to do you got to experiment with what type of harmonic rhythm you want to have just another idea for this a common harmonic rhythm in uh, pop music is you have basically a dotted quarter note and then an eighth note tied to a half note as your harmonic rhythm so that you have a, a chord change that happens mid beat it happens in Memories by Maroon 5 is first example I'm thinking of right now. It changes the harmonic ry rhythm a little bit and changes the feel of the song where the chords are changing sort of on a beat or off a beat. Another way that you can sort of play with this harmonic rhythm thing is you have the harmonic rhythm shift creating a polyrhythm polymeter thing with the music so let's say you're in 4-4 four, four and you have the chords last for three beats each right i'll put an example of what this looks like because it's sort of easier to look at and imagine than to actually explain but you let's say you have a chord that lasts for three beats and then it changes on beat four that lasts for three beats and the next chord changes on beat three and then the next chord changes on beat two and then eventually you come back around and you're you know hearing the same sort of loop i guess played again i wrote a song called dreaming of turquoise that has a harmonic rhythm like that where the chords change in a polymeter with the beat go check it out shameless plug but it's a very fun idea to play around with uh, if you want to get sort of a slightly off uh off uh I don't know the word to describe it, just a slightly dissonant sound where it sounds like it doesn't quite line up perfectly in the traditional way that you would expect it to. That's another sound. If you want that sound, you're writing a song that's trying to express some feeling of unease or something like that, that's a one fantastic way to do it is use the harmonic rhythm in creating that feeling, right? It's sort of a, a way to subtly sort of put the rhythm in like that it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a fun idea to play around with and then one other way that you can sort of use harmonic rhythm in the way you write music is by changing it <clears throat> or increasing it or decreasing it as the song progresses so one common way of doing this is you increase sort of the level of tension or urgency in a piece of music by sort of making the chords last for less time so you could have let's say you have a song where each chord lasts for a measure you play that sort of groove for a little bit and then you change it so that each chord lasts for two beats each that'll create a sense of urgency. It'll make it sound like it's speeding up or sort of like heightening the level of tension and urgency and the movement forward, but it doesn't actually increase the tempo of the piece of music. So it's kind of a cool effect to play around with. You could go another step further and then shorten it even more so that each chord lasts for one beat and then you resolve it.
that's a fun idea to play around with, but it's a great way to sort of increase the urgency and like tension, I guess, in a piece of music without actually changing the like notes and changing the rhythms and changing the actual like chords that you're using or the tempo, right? It, it's a way to increase sort of like urgency and tension in the piece of music without increasing the tempo or using more dissonant chords or even really changing any notes. You can sort of just use harmonic rhythm to do this. And it's a fun, uh, fun little technique to play around with if that's sort of the goal that you want to increase the sort of tension and urgency in a piece of music. That one, for example, of doing that where you increase the harmonic rhythm is very common in, in classical music, especially again, going back from, you know, the time period of, for example, the era of classical music uh, from like Mozart to Beethoven, Sh Joseph Bologna, Chevalier de St. George, that era of music has a lot of this where you as you progress through sort of a symphony as you're listening to it each maybe not every single movement but it's often used in sort of symphonic pieces where with orchestra and everything where you have this harmonic rhythm that's sort of established and fairly slow at the beginning and then it slowly sort of increases then gets resolved it goes back to being slow again and then increases and resolves so you sort of use the harmonic rhythm to build up tension, resolve it, build up tension, resolve it. It's a fun thing to play around with, especially if you're writing a longer piece of music where you have to sort of keep stuff interesting and sounding like it's moving forward for more than, you know, like four minutes or so. Maybe, maybe once you get to like eight minutes, then it can be really, really useful where it's a way to sort of keep the piece moving forward, increasing tension a little bit and resolving it and then you do that a couple more times so it keeps everything sort of interesting and moving forward and exciting without getting stale and boring from hearing the same exact harmonic rhythm the entire time. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about music. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.